Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Because it's 2004. 24. It's 2024. Yes. <laughs> We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on Twitter X. Well, it's a new year, but uh, Megan and Harry have accomplished nothing. They actually accomplished making themselves look like morons. You mean in 23? 23, they accomplished. Yeah. yeah. The only thing they accomplished was. I just, thought you meant in this last 24 hour no, span. No. <laughs> You're no. like, they've done nothing. They have in done nothing. Hours. She has done nothing in the last, what, six years? Since she's been Actually, part of this I, I I I call suits on that too. I don't think she was doing much during suits. Well, that gets me to my my point. Meghan Markle does not understand why she has to follow different rules as the rest of the royal family. When I say the rest of the royal family, I mean the non-senior royals. And when I say that, I mean like Princess Margaret's children, Lady Chatto and her kids and blah, blah, blah. It just goes on and on. There's a lot of Windsors out there. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Well, Megan doesn't understand why she couldn't get the same sort of like deals that they were getting. Like even Peter Phillips, Princess Anne's son, he did like, I think he did like a milk ad or I something think so, from yeah. Germany. I don't know yeah. what it was, but like, but see, that's the thing, Megan. They could do that because the Sovereign Grant was not paying them a salary. Um, the Sovereign Grant was not paying for their clothes, their travel, everything. And the Sovereign Grant does not pay for their security and their living quarters and expenses, period. So you had a pretty good deal. This is also the thing that Meghan and Harry want the entire world to forget. They want us to forget that they had a choice. They had a choice between a big wedding they had a choice between being senior royals. They had a choice between staying in Canada and letting her stay a successful actress on a hit TV show. They had a choice. Had a that, choice. That's what I'm trying to say is they had a choice. Well, now I think Megan figured out that I can't compete with Princess Catherine anymore. Well, I think she's given up on that. But now she's not. Now she is trying to tell her Sussex squad, American, whoever's out there that'll still listen to her that, hey, look at all these people. They still get to do it. And I didn't get to do it. And I'm sure that eventually we're going to hear it's because she's black. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK. So the article goes on to say Meghan Markle wants answers from King Charles about how she can use her title outside of the royal family. It has been claimed. The mother of two who stepped down from duties almost four years ago signed multi-million dollar deals with Netflix, Spotify to become financially independent from the royals. Well, we know how that went. She ruined it. Big fat fail. So she has found out that she's a huge fat fail without the titles, without the pomp and circumstance, and frankly, without being invited to parties like I don't know, King Charles's 75th birthday party. She's just not that interesting. She's not very talented and nobody really cares who she is. We told you this was going to happen the minute they stepped foot oh, in yeah. America. Okay, we knew this. Americans don't play around. No. But royal commentator Neil Sean has claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex don't understand why the rules are different for them compared with other family members. She tried to set up a meeting with him, i.e. Charles, she sent him a letter and wanted one-on-one -on -one to explain exactly the problem she encountered ever since becoming a member of the British monarchy. If I was King Charles, I'd be like, how much time do you have, Megan? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he added, the thing that really riles Megan is that Fergie pops up things like the ITV daytime show, The Morning, Loose Women, and billing herself as the Duchess of York, selling books, and possibly doing adverts all under the royal family. Meghan and Harry seemingly don't understand why it's a different rule for her. Now, duh. Now, Fergie I put in the work. I could have sworn Fergie's been there since the 80s. She has put in the work. She She's has never denounced her title. She's never, she's never taken time. She's always been Look, a working royal. Listen, listen, her and Andrew, yeah, they had a lot of crap happen to yes. them privately, but they also knew that they were never going to be in line for the no. throne. They, they knew that they could probably get away with all this stuff. Fergie had her dalances, he had his, and then the whole, you know, unfortunately she 
was she was running low on money and her and Andrew were not very close. So she had she didn't have a lot of money and she was going to, you know, supposedly she got caught selling secrets or whatever. But luckily it was a sting. She didn't get away with it. However, however, she was only going to tell stuff about Andrew. Yeah. She was never going to throw the queen and Prince Philip under the bus. And to this day, she has not thrown the queen and Prince Philip under the bus. No. Okay. She has always been respectful. Okay. It comes as Megan is rumored to be planning to write a tell-all book about her life, just like her late mother-in-law did with her book, Diana, her true story in her own words. Ugh, well, we I all hate know the fact that she could even use mother-in-law with that. I, I was know. thinking, who's her mother-in-law? And then I Diana know. pops up and I'm like, oh. And it wasn't Diana's real words. It but you know what I mean? Words. It's just like, yeah, oh, it bothers me. When it said mother-in-law. Just like Di, Megan could plan to share her side of the story from being a talented actress to a fierce royal, <laughs> including all the riveting family squabbles and media dramas. Fergie never did that. Dude, Diana never did that. I Everyone's know. Everyone's thinking just because Diana was... Well, talked about how crappy her marriage was. Vocal about her marriage and her problems. And we all know that she struggled from mental health. Duh. And she still, to you know, till the day she passed away. We all loved her. She still, well, she called her, the queen her majesty, but she also would say mama. She yep. would call her mama. Yeah, and she respected the queen. Yeah. And she respected the people of the UK. Listen, divorce sucks. And, oh, and yeah. it's messy and it's ugly. And especially when there's an affairs involved yeah. and, you know, Kids I involved. can only imagine adding the Royal family on top of that, what the poor queen had to go through, but you know, it's messy. It's easy. And unfortunately when princess Diana passed away, it was at the breaking point of it being at its messiest point. Yeah. So I'm sure had Diana lived, we'd be at the point where Fergie is right now, where it would be very civil because that's what eventually happens kids grow up diana if diana was alive today there'd be no megan markle oh no okay oh no. oh no suits would be canceled she'd be on some weird game show in germany yeah you know what i mean megan thinks she's going to possibly relaunch the tig which is her baby her passion project. we've all been waiting for that one so let me get to why i think megan has been set off why she doesn't Triggered. understand why she can't do any of this stuff right now. Exhibit A, the beautiful Sophie Winkleman. She is a beautiful actress and she is married to a Windsor. Look at how gorgeous she is. I mean, just fantastic. Look at that spread already. I don't even have to look at the rest of the pictures. I already know that it's gonna be fabulous. Class. Lady Frederick Windsor is the lady of Belgravia in a costume drama of her own creation on the cover of the February issue. So she's married to Lord Frederick Windsor and she's also an actress about town. Now, Lord Frederick Windsor is not a senior royal. He's not even like up there with the York sisters. He's not even up there with them. Okay. That's how we don't even know who he is, but because he is part of the royal family and a beautiful actress is now his wife of course it's going to get attention and look at how beautiful she is here she is in vivian westwood just gorgeous and look at what they write conquered both royalty and the performing arts now stephanie do you think if megan read that she would just yeah. want to kill herself i'm just saying i think she was triggered definitely by something going on and this might be it <laughs> yes I you might have so. uh bullseye it right here like, <laughs> so she's not spilling secrets no she's not in the article no she's not it's weird believe it or not she didn't spill any secrets yeah so like megan well not like megan she's a successful actress oh okay yeah and she's conducting herself in a way that the papers want to put her in however megan could not do this stuff when she originally married harry was because they chose to be senior royals they wanted Working to royal. do it yeah they wanted the job. Yeah. They wanted the gig. The other thing about Sophie is she was an established actress before she married Lord Frederick. Mm -hmm. Okay. This wasn't like something like she was on some uh, USA show where she was maybe on like two minutes an episode. Mm -hmm. You know, she's an established actress. So they can say she's an actress and she's a royal. There's just, there's just a whole thing. But I guarantee 
it's coming down the pike that this is going to be a racism issue. Oh, of course. Because 100%. So, because she's Sophia's weight. Yeah. Yep. We brought up Fergie. Fergie writes children's books, okay? And good for Fergie. And she loves corgis. Yeah. Hello. So Fergie's been writing these children's books for years. She has a whole series called Little Red. And she goes by the name Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. She doesn't use H R H. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do any of that. Now, last time I checked, Megan still goes by mm -hmm. the Duchess of Sussex. I'm, I'm Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. So I don't see King Charles stopping her at the pass. No. This is what I think. I think she wants to have the H R H back into her title so she can Duh. look better. Because right now she doesn't like being you know, compared to anybody else. She wants to be different, you know, distinctive. Let's get to the best part because this is what I think really, really triggered Megan. Zara does this beautiful ad and they put it up on Instagram and you know, that's Megan's territory. She wants to be able to merch on Instagram yeah. again and look at these pictures. It's just gorgeous. Zara is an Olympic equestrian. Okay. She has been doing this for years. She's now kind of like between kind of still doing it and retirement. She has put in the work. She deserves to do ads like this now because people respect her in that world. And you know what else I find so frustrating about this is that Megan wanted to do it when the queen was still alive. Let's get a reality check here. Things are different a year later, Megan. Okay. Zara and the King have a very special relationship. Zara has been like a daughter to him. Okay. So I'm sick and tired of her going around going, no, nobody gave me a chance and no one let me do this stuff. It's different now. The queen made those rules back then. Guess what? It's a new monarchy. I love the queen. I miss her dearly. But the problem is, Megan, with you right now is you're trying to say that King Charles was the one who didn't let you do these things. Yeah. That's not true. No. No. Okay? Stop throwing him under the Stop bus. Stop throwing him under the bus. Stop throwing William on, under the bus. She's going to be really upset, man, if, if Princess Catherine does a Dior campaign. She's going to be th through the roof, man. I, I'm just trying to, I, I'm just saying. And we would love it. Yeah. We'd love it. Our community has to seriously cut this off at the past because I really do feel that if she does write a book or if this is coming down where she's going to say, I couldn't do ads like this or I couldn't merch like this, she's going to use the race card on this one. I guarantee that's what's going to happen. So that's why I'm just trying to like tell you guys, I'm sure everybody already knows this, but she was a senior royal. She could not have done any of that stuff. It's it's just not possible. She could have done it. It just it wasn't a protocol, guys. And and she's good. Uh, she is. She's good. Her her lid is gonna blow. Yeah. Okay. Because you know something's coming down where where uh, well, Charlotte and George and Louis. Man, those little kids look like a gap ad. Well, I'm saying that, and I'd buy that that they're going to get desperate mm -hmm. this year. This is going to be the year of desperation because they Oprah's don't, turning they don't have now. anything to land on anymore. They yeah. had Spotify, they had Netflix, and now they have nothing. Jessica Maroney. Yeah, I heard about that. So Jessica Maroney, if you go to her Instagram page, she has been merging mm -hmm. every day. She does about two or three things. She has got so many brand deals right now. Did you read the stuff that she might blab? I heard about that and I hope she does. And I hope she does. But I'm sure she signed an NDA too. Ugh. I mean, this is beautiful. She's doing exactly what, this is exactly what Meghan Markle would be doing if she could get away with it. Meghan Markle cannot create an Instagram page right now because of the hate that will come at her. She has too many people that cannot stand her. She doesn't want South Park coming after her again. She knows the press will come after her again. She'll get called out again. Family guy. Too many people will call her out and say, you're merching now? I thought you were a royal. I mean, I'm just telling you guys, it, she is between no man's land right now. She has nowhere to go. She's on an island. Okay, so Omid Scobie wanted Ugh. to wish his followers a happy 2024. And happy it was for This him. is for those of you who do not have Twitter and have not seen my Twitter page yet. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so he's either trolling us. Yeah. Or he's telling us to F off. 
Yeah. What's he trying to do right there? I don't know. He's um, <laughs> close to his 50s, so I'm not um, sure why he's even... Why is he wearing that? that outfit? Why is he wearing makeup like that? I don't know. I found that... You think uh, they're hair plugs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you think? Yeah, because if you look at his old pictures... I know. Or it's a piece. A it piece could be a maybe. piece, yeah. I mean, they make pieces now that yeah. look really... It's just bizarre for his... I don't know. Fam. Fam. So he, it's, it's, he's telling Sussex Squad, this is what you want, baby. Everybody on Twitter has been coming up with really great one-liners for this. But so far, my favorite one has been, I think he's just searching for it. Hard to find. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so you guys are good. Keep it coming because you really are putting a smile to my face. Every time I look down on my phone, I just start laughing more. So thank you, Omid, for that. We he wanted people it. to talk and we're talking about it. He's in that Jonathan Chebin Kardashian bubble where they're going to do anything just to have people talk. And we just talked about it. So God. he's gross. So gross. So for today's animal rescue, I really want to put up this guy's GoFundMe page. What's going on in the UK right now has me really perplexed. I understand that there are some really bad dog owners that, you know, leave their dogs off leash and there has been harm and blah, blah, blah. But I'm a pit bull owner. Stephanie's a pit bull owner. We just love these dogs. And, you know, I don't think they should be given up on. Is what I'm trying to say. So there's Don't this throw guy. Away yeah. a so there's this guy that drives night and day from Black County to Scotland, each time taking a group of extra large bully dogs with him and finding them new homes in Scotland. About 30 dogs so far have been saved, and he's still going. So he has a GoFundMe page. There he is, and there's a couple of the dogs. I mean, what a good, good guy. It looks like he's gone over his goal. Of, well, actually, it wasn't him who did it. It was a friend of his. But um, let's give him as much money as we can. I will put the GoFundMe page in the description below. I really appreciate it if you check it out. It just makes me so sad what's going on over there. I mean, I It makes I me happy that people are are, you know, helping out though. Yeah. I, I vowed to be more optimistic in 2024. Yeah. So I'm not sad as much. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, that'll last a minute. So we promised our mom we'd do the last possible dreams. Yesterday we forgot in our live. Gee, I wonder why, because we were wasted. Um, we promised, oh, and everybody that's been asking, thank you for your wishes. We were fine. I think because we drank, well, Stephanie wasn't, but I am still we so, ordered the pizza. I am still so hungover. The pizza is my hair, most of mine. I just took a shower, guys. My hair is still wet, but I mean, I am pale in the face. She is hungover. My lips are blue for some reason. <laughs> and I've been doing nothing but drinking Gatorade. She's been pounding Gatorade all day. So we forgot to do the last impossible dreams. And it's the Santa New Year. Santa, And you can actually turn it on. It's adorable. Mom wanted us to play this and sing to it last night. I don't know the words of Old Lang Syne, do you? I have no clue. I don't even know what it means. This is me during Old Lang Syne, uh, Old Lang Syne on every single New Year. And the good, the good, the good. You're hugging your friends yeah. on the dance floor at the like, club. Yeah, because you're like, I'm going to puke in my bathroom tonight. <laughs> So we played that for mom. Yeah. I've got a, a the, oh, yeah. the actual backstory to this possible dreams is as adorable as it is. Um, uh, and I hope no, no one's watching with children right now, but um, Santa actually has to hold that um, sign in that certain spot because for some reason um, around new year's Eve, he uh, let's say, I don't know what the word is, gets excited so he okay okay stop, stop, stop. happy new year everyone happy 2024 and hopefully everyone's out there nursing their hangovers like i am yes we'll see you very soon take some cold showers today yeah.